Hello everyone, and welcome to our page, Weapons of War. In today's video, we're going to take a close look at the newest version of the Navy's Phalanx closed-in weapon system, the Block 1A variant, or as we call it in the Navy, the Sea Whiz. If you haven't already, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for more cool military content like this. Okay, let's get into it. The Block 1A version of the Phalanx Closed-In Weapon System (CIWS) is a highly advanced naval weapon system designed to provide close-in defense against anti-ship missiles, aircraft, and other threats. Developed by Raytheon, the Phalanx CIWS has been widely deployed by navies around the world to enhance the defense capabilities of their ships. The Block 1A variant represents an upgrade to the original Phalanx CIWS system, incorporating several improvements in performance, reliability, and functionality. The heart of the Phalanx CIWS is its Gatlin gun a formidable weapon that forms the core of the system's firepower. The Block 1A variant retains the proven and reliable 20mm M6 1A1 Gatlin gun, which has been widely used across various military platforms. The Gatlin gun is a multi-barreled, electrically-driven weapon that is capable of firing up to 4,500 rounds per minute. This high rate of fire ensures a continuous stream of projectiles directed at incoming threats, significantly increasing increasing the system's chances of successfully intercepting and neutralizing them. The M6 1A1 Gatlin gun features a six-barrel design, with each barrel being 3.6 feet or 1.1 meters long. The barrels are rotated by an electric motor, allowing for sustained high rates of fire. As the gun rotates, the ammunition is fed into the breech of each barrel from a linked ammunition drum, ensuring a constant supply of rounds. The M61A1 is fed with a 20mm caliber ammunition, which is typically High Explosive Incendiary HEI, or Armor Piercing Incendiary API, projectiles. The Gatling gun's high rate of fire and its ability to project a continuous stream of bullets towards the target significantly increases the probability of hitting and neutralizing incoming threats. The sheer volume of fire creates a dense wall of projectiles that can rapidly engage multiple targets simultaneously. This capability is particularly crucial when countering saturation attacks or swarms of small boats or missiles. To facilitate accurate target engagement, the Phalanx CIWS employs a closed-loop system that integrates the Gatlin gun with the radar and sensor suite. The system's radar detects and tracks incoming threats, while the forward-looking infrared FLIR sensor provides additional target information, particularly in low-visibility conditions. The data from the radar and the FLIR sensor are processed by the system's computer, which calculates the target's trajectory and predicts its future position. Based on the computed information, the system's computer directs the Gatlin gun to align with the predicted target position. The gun is mounted on a stabilized platform, which compensates for the ship's motion and ensures accurate targeting. Once the target is within the engagement envelope, the Gatlin gun is activated and a wall of lead is fired toward the target's predicted location. The projectiles fed by the Gatlin gun are designed to be highly effective in neutralizing threats. HEI rounds are commonly used, which combine an explosive charge with incendiary components. Upon impact, the round detonates, releasing a high-energy blast and producing a shower of fragments that can damage or destroy the incoming threat. API rounds, on the other hand, are designed to penetrate armored targets. These rounds feature a hardened core that can penetrate the target's defenses before detonating, causing substantial damage. The Gatlin gun's high rate of fire and the destructive potential of its projectiles contribute to the system's effectiveness in countering a wide range of threats. Whether engaging anti-ship missiles, aircraft, or small boats, the Phalanx CIWS provides a formidable defensive barrier increasing the ship's survivability and protecting its crew. The Block 1A version of the Phalanx CIWS also includes improvements in its reliability and maintainability, upgrades to the power supply system, and enhancements in diagnostics and troubleshooting capabilities have increased the system's overall availability. The mean time between failures, MTBF, has been improved, reducing the frequency of maintenance requirements and ensuring that the Phalanx CIWS remains operational for extended periods. Furthermore, 
The Block 1A Phalanx CIWS features a modular design that allows for ease of installation and integration onto various naval platforms. It can be mounted on different types of vessels, including aircraft carriers, cruisers, destroyers, and amphibious assault ships. This versatility and adaptability have contributed to its widespread adoption by navies around the world. In summary, the Block 1A version of the Phalanx CIWS, with its formidable Gatlin gun, represents a significant enhancement to the original system. The high rate of fire, combined with accurate targeting and lethal projectiles, ensures an effective defense against a wide range of threats. With improved reliability, maintainability, and modular design, the Block 1A Phalanx CIWS remains a critical component of naval defense, providing reliable and effective close-in protection for ships and their crews. That's all for now, folks. We hope you enjoyed this video on the Phalanx closed-in weapon system. If you haven't done so yet, now's a good time to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel, Weapons of War.